so this is a Bally Wizard manufactured in 1975. The problem I have here is with, and it's we've I've played thousands, probably tens of thousands of games have been played on this machine, and only now I'm starting to get a sticky score reel with the second player, and it's the thousand score reel right here. If you play the machine cold, it's fine, but once it warms up and it's been on for a few hours and you start to play it, the score reel starts to stick and it doesn't really work too well and it doesn't really change this score and it'll stick in between. So we're going to try to clean it and we're going to learn how to do this together since I've never done it. And the first thing we got to do is we got to come to the back of the machine and this is the, you got to pardon me, this is the first video I ever made. But this is it right here. This is the score reel that's given us the problem. So, if you want to just clean the, the plunger, it's real easy with this. You just have two screws you take off up here, up on the top here. And then there's one underneath here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it that well right there, one underneath there. And you, you really just, is all you do is take those two screws off, pull this back part off, and it comes out and you can clean it, clean the plunger, um, clean everything about it. Now, we're going to take this thing apart. We're going to clean it. Uh, I haven't seen any videos on how to do this particular model, so I'll do it step by step. You lift this, and you just pull it out. So, like that, and then the score reel comes out. And this is it, and it sticks. There's a little thing right here. You can do this, and it'll change the reel. Um... You have your end of stroke right there, and you have all of your switches right here, as you can see. And then once it gets to, it's on 8 now, gets to 9, and then it, it lifts up 0, and then 1. So, do that again. That's 8, 9, it starts to move, 0, and then 1. It's real easy. Everything fits on there together. I've taken this apart. I've cleaned this. I've cleaned the sleeve. Didn't really seem to do the trick, so I guess it's time to take apart the whole score reel, and I don't think it's going to be all that difficult. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this off. This little clip right here comes off. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, there's a little clip right here that comes off. These three bolts come off, or screws, I should say, come off. And we're going to take it apart. And you're going to leave everything connected, obviously. There's there's no reason to cut the wires, no reason to desolder anything. Um, well, let's give it a go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart here. And since I'm holding my camera... Uh, once I get to the kitchen table and start to disassemble it, I'll put the camera back on and we'll take it apart together. Okay, so what happened was uh, while I disconnected the score reel from the pinball machine, one of the wires came loose on the end of stroke switch, which is this switch right here. Uh, it was this wire came loose and... I had to resolder it, so uh, then I figured to myself, instead of trying to do this job one-handed while I'm holding the camera, I have a spare reel. So I figured we take apart the spare reel, see how it's done, and then just apply it to your reel in your machine. Um, actually, the reel would be set up, of course, in the machine like that. This is what you loosen it up with, pull it out, the lock mechanism. And these are all your switches right there to tell it that it's at zero, tell it that it's at a certain score. If, if you have the match unit set, tell it to advance the other 
uh, score reel by one. So, where we left off, I figure, was taking this off. Now, this score reel by Bally's was used on all kinds of machines. It was used on Captain Fantastic. It was used on um, machines in the 60s. It was used, I guess, up until they switched over on the Evil Knievel machines. There were a couple of Evil Knievel machines that still had this type of, of reel, and they're pretty easy, I guess. I don't know what the names of these things are, but... We're going to try to take this thing apart together, and we're going to find out, and we're going to clean it. And everybody says that that's what you got to do when it gets sticky, so nobody's got a video with this type of reel, and I usually need a step-by-step -step thing. Oh, by the way, too, if you have a problem at 8, 9, usually the problem is right at 9 where it will stick. And it didn't that time, but see if I can get it to go. I'll, I'll tell you how you can fix that, I think. Now, it's not sticking, but usually that's because right here, that needs to be adjusted. You can adjust these two screws right here, too, on the stack. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I'm out of, out of the camera. But it's right here. And then these two screws, you can loosen a little bit. I'm going to try to lift this up just a little bit as I'm working on it there. Okay, so anyway, let's give it a shot. So as I said, the first thing we got to do is we got to take this clip off. So let's take that clip off and take it from there. Now, you don't really need to use a pair of needle nose. It comes off pretty easy. You just slide it forward with your finger, and there's the clip. And you put it off to the side, and then you have these three right here. You've got to take off these three screws. Pretty easy to do. They're not that tight. And you don't want to over-tighten them. Remember, you're, they're being held down on plastic, so... You crack your reel, you got a problem. All right, so let's see if we can get all of these nice and loose. And then this reel should come right off. And it does. Now, here's what gets all gunked up. These springs... These aren't really that strong, and I guess they're not that strong for a reason. The reason being is because this thing should work properly. You put a tighter spring on it if it's sticking, and it may be a band-aid sort of over the problem, and it's just going to get worse. If you have any oil or anything like that that was put on there by a previous owner or by yourself, it's going to gunk up. It's going to get dust on it. It's going to get that black stuff that you see in pinball machines, and it's just going to make everything sticky. I'm not going to put any oil on it. If you want to and you're so inclined to do it, go right ahead, but I'm not. So we're going to take off these springs, and if you notice on the spring here, it's shaped like the hook is right here in the middle on this side, and it's on the end on this side. The hook on the end here goes here, and the other hook goes on this metal, on the bracket actually, the metal post on the bracket. So, and the hook goes down on the bottom. The reason for that is it's got to kind of pull on, on this piece down. See, it's coming back, and then boom, it falls down, and it turns it. And this just prevents it from coming back. And as it turns, this right here has a little tit on it, if you will, a little nub that rides in a groove on the bottom of that thing. You can maybe see it right there. I don't know. I, I don't know how to adjust the zoom on this thing, but... There's a little tit right on the bottom of this, and it goes into a groove. And now if you watch, 
we're going to get to the bump where it's going to switch these right here. That's up in there, I guess, is where it gets dirty. So the hard part is getting this piece out. And we're going to see if we can do it. Because I've tried to do this before. I didn't really succeed. Actually, I was kind of afraid to continue. This spring really has almost no tension to it whatsoever. This is the, the spring that holds this like locking me mechanism in place. I bought these alcohol preps. This is what I'm going to use to wipe down the thing and wipe everything clean. Not too much alcohol. Okay, sorry about that. My, uh, my camera stopped working. So anyway, uh, all right, so we're at the point now where we want to take this apart. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take these two screws off right here and right here. Let me tilt this camera up just a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're just going to take these two off, and it should be pretty easy. This will give us access now to the plunger to clean that. This one here too. These two screws come off. All right, there. You notice the contacts come right off. The switch stack right here pulls right off of this. Very easy to go back on. And I'll show you a little trick, I think, that might work. I think it will. When we put it back together again, these switches will just fit right back on here. And it's very easy to tell what number should be out here because of this. We know how it is at 8, 9, 0. So we just set it to 0, 1, and it, this switch stack will then slip right back on. Again, this sleeve right in here, this can come off. You can loosen one of these, pull this one out, loosen that one, and just turn the whole stack, and out comes that. So, now if you want to clean this, obviously, you can just take this right here. Go down in there, clean it. And keep doing it work until it's nice and clean but really we want to get to this we want to clean this up so it's real nice so this I think is going to be the hard part I don't think there's any little pieces I don't think we need to take this arm off I don't think we need to take this arm off although maybe who knows but what we do need to take is this off this plunger right here it has to come off and I don't know if there's an easy way to do it. I don't think there's an easy way, or if there is, somebody can write it in the comments if you want. But here's what we're going to do. We're just going to try to slip it out. If you notice, there's a little gap right here, an opening right here. There's an opening in the metal part right here. It allows this to slide back and forth. So we're going to slide it forward, just like I did, tilt this up a little bit. So now this piece is out. Now, we got to get this freed up and out. Once we get this out, we can get to our wheel. So, again, if somebody knows an easy way to do this, feel free to post a video showing me how, because I don't know. you got to kind of finagle it. It will come out, I think, there. Out it came. So there's your piece, there's your plunger right there. You can clean the plunger, again, using the alcohol pads. Just clean that up real good so it doesn't stick. Clean up in here so it doesn't stick, or at least it's not sticky. And then now this. 
And there it is. There are your contacts right there. There's that little groove. I hope you can see it. There would be your 901 right around that hump. That's, if I put it back on here, you can see how it, it turns this, which connects to the switch stack. So there, you see how that how that's working? I know my fingers are in the way, but it just came loose. Hold on. Okay. See? And we turn it and then boom. That's what that's what does it. Right there. So, what you want to make sure is that this groove is clean. So again, we're going to take our alcohol pad, we're going to go right in there, we're going to keep cleaning this, keep cleaning this. We're going to clean the circuit board, and then clean these up. Once I get them clean, we'll come back and we'll reassemble it. But that's pretty much it, taking it apart. So let me just readjust this and shut this down. Okay, I had a little problem there with the camera. We should be good. Shut down on me. So anyway, we got everything taken apart. And what I did was I used these alcohol preps to clean everything. And I pretty much cleaned this whole thing. All the teeth right here, you can see them. Um, there you go. And then especially especially in this groove right here that's where I really cleaned that's where it needs it let me see if I can focus it a little bit better right in those grooves right there I cleaned the teeth cleaned the slide bar for lack of a better term use these alcohol preps they're really good they come pre moistened with alcohol they clean up really nice they cut all the grease oh you never want to use these to clean the scoring reel itself you'll wipe the numbers right off so just use a little soap and water and I wouldn't even recommend soap I would just use a little warm water and kind of just try to clean the, the uh, clean the reel up a little bit but do not use any alcohol when it comes to this just a little tip you'll wipe the numbers right off okay now let's try to piece this thing back together again I can't hold the camera and do the work so this is a spare one I have um, we took it apart I did it on my machine I took all the parts off cleaned it just like here so now it's time to reassemble it, and it shouldn't be all that rough to reassemble it back on your machine. So first thing we're going to do is we got to put this back in. And that fits on just like that. Real easy, no problems, spins around nice and clean. This has to go underneath it, and it has to slide right in that groove. This has to be up here on this side. Remember, this is the stop. So you don't want to have this thing, put everything back together and have this piece over here somewhere. Big trouble, got to take it apart again. So make sure that this is facing up towards the board here with the writing and everything. And then it just slides right back down, right into place. This is what holds everything together, your plunger. I had a little problem taking it out it fits in with this little hump down so it goes in and then down like that what you want to do is kind of get it so that this part slides in first into the little groove over here you can do that it's not easy it's going to take you a little while but I just did it. It just slid down. So now I push it down and then pull it in. And now it's in there. And you see, it's working just fine. And now we just have to hook up the springs. It it's, seems like a very simple unit to work on compared to some other units that I've seen. 
um, on the web where they take it apart and everything flies out. You have to hold it down. I don't, you know, I've never done it, but this seems pretty easy. It's, it's good. Bally made these things. They work good. They last a long time. Some, they get sticky every once in a while and you got to clean them, but they made it so that you can at least clean them pretty, pretty easily. Now we'll put the springs back on. The little spring goes on first. What you want to do is just connect it just like that so that the ring is in towards the post. This ring is actually pointing down. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it that well. I'll try to focus it. I don't know. Okay. Then the next one is the bigger ring. Again, you want... There's the ring in the middle and the ring on the end. You want the ring on the end against the plastic facing down. Come over, hook it onto your metal post just like that. And everything should be working now. And it is. And we're ready to put the reel back on. Now, again, I said watch this. Let's bring it, which we're going to know once it moves, it's on 9, 0, and then 1. So let's keep our eye on this. Just moved. That's 9. That's 0. That's 1. So now we know 1 is facing out. There's 1 goes down like this, I think, yes it does, okay, and then it screws right in, remember, this is plastic, not too tight, it doesn't have to be all that tight, just enough to hold it on. See how it works. If there's any stickiness. Not too bad. Okay, and we're going to get it back to one by watching this. So let's watch that move. Went down. That's it. That's nine. Zero. One should be right there. One is right there. And now we can hook this back in. And if you watch, I know, I, again, I can't really hold the camera and do this at the same time. But I'm going to slip this on. Make sure that your top coil goes over the top here. And your second to the bottom fits on right underneath there. So you got the, the long ones. Let's go the long blades. Top long blade on the top. Middle long blade on the top of your second nub. And on the bottom of your second nub is the third long blade. And it fit right on. And now this is ready to be screwed on. So let's do that one more time. Screw it on. And actually, you should be done. Okay. Let me get the screws. Oh. And I forgot to put the clip back on, but we'll do that in a minute. Let me just get this on, tighten it up. Believe me. I wish I were a little more dexterous, but... All right. There. Good enough for now. Let's get the other one. Fit it on. OK. 
Okay. Let's put the clip on so we don't forget. There's the clip. There's a little groove right in there. You really just want to push it on. It's kind of simple. On. Clip is on. So now we're going to tighten this up. Done. Let's see. Pretty good. Now, let's see if it hangs up on the nine. Go very slowly. And it did. That hangs up. Well, it's not hanging up that much. It probably won't even hang up during play, but... Let's see if I can get it to hang up again. No. If it hangs up, generally what it is, it is the third long blade that it's pushing down on. What you want to do is actually adjust the bottom blade here. And adjust it down a little bit. That's all you need. And let's take a look at these things in action. We're on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pushing down. It did get stuck. So watch. Oh no. Yeah, it just clicked in. That can be adjusted a little bit. You can also loosen the stack just a little bit if you want. And then zero and one all right i did the same thing with the score reel that's in the machine i cleaned the parts the exact same way i'm going to go hook it up put it all back together we'll see if it works okay so we're back at the machine and here's my solder job right here uh let me try to focus this i'm trying to do it with one hand Okay, so there's where I had to resolder that wire, and I forgot to put the uh, the little slip back, so I had to cut it and put it back on. I wasn't going to resolder it. Anyway, that's the end of stroke switch. I put it back together again, and it was kind of sticking, and it was these springs right here. We can get a look at it. It was that spring right there. And especially this little spring right here. So that spring was not pulling this lever back. And I went and I actually replaced these springs with the spare that I had. The spare springs I put on here. And now it's working like a charm. I'll do it for you here. Perfect. Let's watch here. When it gets to nine. There is nine. Zero. One. So everything's working good. Um, unfortunately, I guess those springs were a little stretched out. Um, and that was kind of holding things up. That, that small spring really has just about zero tension on it but it had no tension the original spring so what you can do is you can go down to uh what i did uh which was to go down to harbor freight or i guess home depot and just buy yourself a spring assortment 200 pieces um you really for that little spring that's kind of the equivalent right there. Let me try to focus this. That's kind of the equivalent right there. Um, it was a little tight, so, but the springs are actually pretty good. They are tight, 
maybe you want to stretch them a little bit before you put them on the machine, but seem to work good. So it's time now to rehook this thing back up. I put it all together. Everything's in. This little clamp piece went on, and I tightened everything down. And uh, like I said, I I resoldered the uh, the wire where I needed to. I know I'm not a great soldering guy, but it did it. It worked. Um, so anyway, we're gonna try to put it back in. Everything's tightened up. Everything looks good. Everything's working. I'm going to fit it back in there right now. Let me see if I can get it in. And no. Sorry about the camera, but uh, I'm trying to get this thing in while I'm filming here. Oh, there we go. I get it. I'm sure I didn't. Oh, no, it's in. It's locked in. All right. So it's in there, so we're going to see how it works. As a matter of fact, I can turn the thing on, really, and just check. Okay, so what we're going to be looking for is this one, and I'm going to try to do it. Bear with me, because I'm going to go towards the back, and what I'm going to try to do is do it manually. And let's see. This is when I was having problems if I if it laid on a target. It works. She's back. Beautiful. So anyway, so that's how you do it. This is good for uh, a lot of Bally machines. This one just happens to be a wizard. But if you have the one uh, Captain Fantastic, if you have the one with, uh, well, even this one, uh, Monte Carlo machines from the uh, from the late 60s right on through the 70s, uh, they're all the same scoring reel. Uh, like I said, uh, Captain Fantastic, Wizard, um, you can do it. You can run it and take them apart. They're pretty simple. Um, the springs, you may have to go out and buy them because as I had a little bit of problem with was, uh, was the spring, the tension just wasn't tight, but now it seems good. So, all right, well, this is my first video. I've never done that before. I hope uh, we both learned something from it.